Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where today, you know if you watch this channel that I'm always interested in any sort of a tie-in product whether it's from movies, video games, television, we just don't have a, enough of these particularly when it comes to food products especially compared to decades past and so I'm very excited to see a video games related chip of all things and this is the Pringles Wavy Moa Burger from Halo I think specifically from Halo Reach it's kind of going back a few years I would say but a, I think it was in that game that they had a kind of a, I don't know what it is, it's like a fast food, a restaurant or a kiosk or something and you would go up and they would have pictures of Moa Burger and I think there was Moa Wings and Moa Nuggets. I don't remember anything quite like this. So look at these four patties stacked up. Some fantastic art on here. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the packaging here, which is actually quite good. The negative is the way the chips are placed in the can. It cannot stay up on either of the sides that have the images on them. So. I've had to do this rather unesthetic thing of placing another Pringles can to hold it up for me. Okay, so here at the top it says limited time only. Then you have the Pringles guy with his new bald look I don't really like, but he's got his gamer's headset on. The simps are all subscribing to his Twitch channel. You got the Pringles logo. It's sort of not that inspired wavy logo Moa burger and then you have this really outstanding picture of a giant Moa burger from the game four patties they look like quarter pound and really high end toppings on there like red onions and pickles, shredded lettuce, uh, sesame seed bun. Maybe Halo has missed an opportunity here by not putting this out in a fast food restaurant. Some kind of an ostrich burger, I guess. But whatever it is, it looks delicious here. I don't remember it looking that good in the game. And there of course the chip itself and the Halo logo which is kind of out of focus on the package. I don't know why. You've got that backdrop also sort of evoking the game world there. And then here is the other side. We'll try to hope this stays upright here. Well, there, there it goes. But you have uh, I'll just say Master Chef because I'm so annoyed by this package that can't stay upright. Somebody should have thought of that in the boardroom, I think. So let's go ahead and see what the aroma is here. And well, I have to say, it's, uh, I give them credit, there's a little bit of a meat aroma, even though I don't know what the heck a moa meat would taste like after it was... Even though I don't know what moa meat would smell like after it's cooked. There is sort of a, I guess you could say like a, more like a chicken wing uh, aroma, but a 
chicken burger I guess would be really the equivalent get one of these out of here and at least when you buy Pringles which of course come to us from Jackson Tennessee made in the USA in the great city of Jackson Tennessee the great state of Tennessee and you're always getting unless some idiot drops it in the store you get a whole stack of whole chips unlike the bags you buy that have like five chips and the rest are all mashed up kind of like the Doritos I reviewed recently and then you have the nice wavy ripple shape and texture let's go ahead and see how it tastes Whoop. well it's definitely an unusual flavor I like this it gives you the impression like you're tasting a flavor from another planet it's not like any other Pringle or chip you've ever had before and I don't believe there is any meat in this it says artificially flavored but it has sort of a chicken wing like a dry rub chicken wing because you get this spice flavor on it a sort of a tangy and slightly sweet spice and then this sort of a meaty flavor I detect onion and garlic and something just a, sort of like sugar not brown sugar and then you have this like a juicy chicken wing flavor I'm wondering if they shouldn't have gone ahead and made this Samoa Wings flavor. Maybe the reason they didn't is because this looks so much better visually than a little chicken wing would on the package. But I'm definitely getting more of a of a chicken wing flavor than a burger flavor. And then you have some familiar elements but there's something in here that I can't recognize and it gives it that otherworldly flavor that you if you had an ingredient you could only get on another planet you wouldn't be able to recognize it when you tasted it so that really works for this concept in my opinion Bob, I've told you never to interrupt me while I'm trying to read the newspaper. Can't you see? I'm just trying to read the funny papers to get my mind off what's going on in this crazy world today. What is this? Some kind of a knockoff of Watch the Thrones on HBO? Can't anybody come up with something original these days? What is this, Shylock Fox? Guy, what Mama Lucian, check out this cat girl with the blue hair. I'll buy that for a dollar. Finally, a real comic strip Garfield. But something's wrong here. It's happened again, Bob. A cartoon is sending us a message through the comic strip. Confirmation of the future civil war in the New World Order has attacked Garfield's hometown, Muncie, Indiana. I knew it would start in flyover country, Bob. A fleet of black helicopters descending, Luxembourg commandos pouring out. That Chinese armored division that's been hidden in the Guatemalan jungle for the last five years rolls into Muncie, Indiana. 87,000 armed federales ransacking, pillaging, dragging God-fearing Americans like John Arbuckle out of their destroyed homes, taking them to the garden center at the local Walmart for processing every channel and streaming service carrying the same broadcast. If we're successful, 
and we will be. We've got a real chance at this new world order. We've never seen anything like this in a Garfield comic before, this kind of destruction. It's a clear message, Bob, being sent to us. Prepare now. Join the Robert Dyer cult today before you suffer the fate of Garfield. Now I have to say that this product really succeeds on just about every level. The packaging is fantastic. And then even if you're not a video game person, who could possibly turn down something that looked like this? This wonderful burger on here, unbelievable. That's what they need to make next, but I'm just glad to have any sort of a product like this that brings a game or movie world more immersive into the real world. I don't know how they did it, but they They've got made this really odd, unusual flavor along with some familiar flavors combined together and it really does make you think this came from another planet in terms of what you're tasting. And fortunately it is a pleasant and appetizing flavor. So I would personally like to see more video game flavors. Maybe they can have a Duke Nukem next. Elder Scrolls or Fallout or whatever. Give us some more video game flavors. This is what I'll call it Master Chef again. Uh, this is what Master Chef might be eating as a snack, and now you can too. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a very solid simping five stars. Great job by Pringles, and I hope they will do this again down the road. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.